So, hi, I've been um, thinking about starting to vlog again a little bit. Um, I think mainly to just try and make my life slightly more interesting, as I am very boring. You have just caught me um, having heart palpitations after the biggest fuck off spider was found just down there. How do I zoom on this? Just down there was the biggest spider of my life. Not impressed. I thought I would just vlog this week and see what happens. Um, I'm at work, not as a teacher at the moment. I'm in a food factory, quite enjoying it. Um, it means I have 9 to 5 and it also means I can vlog as I'm not a teacher at the moment. Um, because I don't have the fear of kids finding me. Um, I'm vlogging quite quietly because my siblings are next door and they take the piss out of me whenever I do this. So, uh, Tomorrow I am going out for my 24th birthday. Um, we're not going to talk about the fact that I'm turning 24. On Saturday I'm going to out my arsehole as usual. Um, Sunday I'm going for an appointment about going travelling at Star Travel for that on Monday. I'll probably go to the gym, do some other stuff and then... Tuesday is my birthday, and then Wednesday I'm back at work. So, we will see how we get on with this vlogging thing, whether I'm actually any good at it. I've just watched that back, and I've realised... Oh, shut the door. I look like I've been dragged through a greasy hedge backwards. Um, so yeah, this is what happens when you wear makeup for... 14 hours, all your mingy spots come out. Bronze wears off. Yeah, it looks like you've never washed. So yeah, I apologise for what I look like just then because, well, it is what I normally look like. Um, don't look any better without my glasses on. Now I can't look like a blend. Um, and my makeup all smeared down my face. But so I thought I would show you on this Friday morning when I'm going for work. Cardigan from a new look on HM. This top from Topshop I got ages ago. Jeans from Matlan, socks are from Primark, oh, and I'm wearing boots from Primark. They're just box down boots. So, yeah. Hi, I thought I'd introduce you to the me that kind of looks semi decent. Um, I have just got ready to go on my birthday night out. I haven't done my hair yet, but my eyes with a little bit of cocoa bear and the naked two little palette I think uh, contour and flick um, my lips is a matte lipstick and a Stila lip gloss thing I um, thought I'd show you my outfit as well so uh, I'm wearing this Pepsi Cola top from Matalab it's in size 16 but it's quite nice it's a bit baggier the biggest push-up bra you've ever seen in your life. Uh, I'm wearing this skirt from Primark. It was so much roomier before I went on holiday and going like 100 million stone. Not even joking. And I'm just going to wear some boots with it. And I'm trying out the deodorant chafing trick. So we'll see how that turns out. So I'll see you tomorrow when I look decidedly less great than this. Because this is the best you'll see me in a lot. So doing this over the last two days, it's made me realise that A, I never look at the camera, I get all eye weird, and B, I have the biggest fucking head ever. Like I know I'm like, I look like Mr. Chins, but Jesus, I've got a fucking massive head. Christ. And welcome to me with barely a hangover, which is very surprising. I didn't really get that drunk to be honest. Um, my sister made up for that. She got absolutely leathered. Um, as you can see from my face, I slept in my makeup because I'm a very classy bird. And I look like I've got a fat lip because this spot is so fucking painful. But yeah, I had a really good night. I went to Snobs in Birmingham because I haven't been there for like, what, feel, um, what have I done? What feels like about a thousand years. So. And my sister hadn't been, and my friend Lucy, who's moved down here, has never been either. So I thought I'd take them, and Danny came too, and I haven't seen her in like two years. And it was just really good. 
I really enjoyed myself. Okay. Today I think we're going to watch Game of Thrones again. I think I'm just going to sit in bed and chill because I've got four days off and I'm going to make the most of them. But yeah, God, I feel a million dollars compared to last Sunday where I nearly died. Like, I think actually death came for me last Sunday. You know when you're hungover and you just want a nap? And then your Wi-Fi stops working, so your Prime Stick isn't working, and it gives you this shit, and all you want to do is put on Bridget Jones and have a fucking nap. What the fuck, man? I just woke up from a four-hour nap. Four hours I was asleep for. And I had a dream that I was in a terrorist attack in Ikea, and the terrorists were wearing yellow trackies with rainbows on them. And they lit up the ceiling with laser beams and then they made us try and kill each other but we didn't do it so no one died then they kept coming around and like ticking people off it was very weird i didn't get to the end of it i didn't die so it's okay i've mentioned on my blog quite a few times that i suffer from something called hydrodenitis suprabata um, it's basically where a load of boils um, kind of inflict themselves on you um, and basically, they're really painful and horrible basically, so, and I've been told that hair removal, like permanent hair removal might start to help it a little bit and make them a little bit less um, constantly there. So I've booked myself in for a consultation and hopefully it means that I will suffer less with this in the future, which would be brilliant. But what's happening for the rest of the day is I'm going into Birmingham with my sister and we're going to Star Travel and I'm going to find out all about flights and stuff like that for my big travelling adventure. Let's try that again because that was mega blurry, but basically it's my birthday! I'm 24 years old today. <laughs> I'm exciting. Not that it stopped anyone calling me 34 years old. I've got so much to tell you. I am booking my flights to go travelling today. I'm so excited. Um, I'll be going at the end of February for four months. I'll be spending two months in Oz and two months in Southeast Asia. And I'm just so excited. Like, I can't wait to do something that's going to really drag me out of my comfort zone while I still can before I start teaching next year. So, I'm just busy. Um, but yeah, because it's my birthday, we are going to go to Bill's for lunch, because I love Bill's. Um, and then I've got a cake from my sister. Apparently, it's her best cake yet. And, um, probably just have some Prosecco and stuff later. Serious question asking time. Why the fuck have I turned 24 yesterday? And my skin is genuinely acting like I am 13. <laughs> I've got the biggest spots which I've just put concealer on to Snapchat somebody because I was so embarrassed ever. Like, what the fuck? Um, yeah. I've been looking at hostels today so that I can start kind of figuring out my budget. Um, Australia's going to cost me a fortune. Everywhere else, not so much, which is good. Um, I'm just so buzzing. I can't believe it's six months away. I'm kind of glad it is because it gives me time to save. And I also kind of hope that my teaching is now in January because then I can get an extra month's pay. At my work. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm very sorry that all you've seen of me and my life is my bedroom. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you have, um, hopefully, as I get more into this, then I will vlog a little bit more of the rest of my life. I'm just a bit embarrassed at the moment. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.